Hey, I'm Robert Cook Saw Manufacturing. I uh, want to show the computer set works that we offer on our hydraulic saw mills. This is our AC36 we'll be showing it on. Um, but just want to run through some of the features that uh, the computer does and what it can do to help on your sawing. So we'll have a, a series of videos that show different things, different functions uh, that is available on it. So to start, we've got nine presets. Our preset one through five are board settings. Preset six through nine are our cant settings. Um, our board settings, we will count from the top down. Cant settings allow us to count from the bottom up. Uh, this computer does not know how big our log is, how long our log is, uh, so we do have to give it a starting point, but it does all that math for us, so when we're out there sawing, uh, this can do our thinking and um, allow us to focus on stacking and sawing and doing other things. So in our computer set works, um, power is pulled from the key switch on the engine, so I do have that switch turned on now. Um, so if I, I cannot forget to leave this on. When I turn the key off on the engine, I lose power. It's not going to drain my battery. Um, on my remote box, which has all my head controls on it, um, there is an on-off switch here where I can turn the computer off. It is a very useful tool, uh, very helpful, very beneficial. I like it a lot. It is not necessary to sawing. Um, so if I do not want to use that computer, I'll turn it off and I can install manual using my scales with our fast and slow switch on the remote box. Um, but I do want to show you the features on the computer. Use our switch, got it turned back on, takes just a second to boot back up. Um, so there are five presets um, for board settings and then six through nine are our cant settings. So when I want to go in and add a preset, um, we're on preset one. So set one, we can see that. I'm gonna change it to set two. Two, yellow button is our enter button, and that will change it. Um, zeroed out, the red eyes, our input or our edit button. It's gonna ask us for our board size. Um, let's do inch and a half, so one. Cursor to get across the decimal is the enter button. And then it is decimal format, so inch and a half, we are gonna go 500. Um, if I do not put those zeros in, I have to go through the full sequence, it will show up 1.005. So make sure we add our zeros, 1.500. Yellow enter button, it's gonna ask us for our kerf. Um, that is the, the thickness of the blade. So depending on the mill, that may vary a little bit. Um, blade on this mill is 55 thousandths with a 25 thousandths set up, 25 thousandths set down, so it gives us 100 thousandths. What happens when I put in 100 thousandths? 0 0.0100, zero, zero. enter. So we've got our board set an inch and a half. The kerf is shown as asterisk. It is there, it will work. Um, but when I put in that 0 .100, it does show up as an asterisk. It will not make a difference either way. Um, one thousandths, we, we're sawing rough cut lumber. Um, we've got variance of one thousandths. So if I go one or point zero nine nine on my kerf, that will show up where I can, I can read it and I know that it is there. It just helps us visualize it. Um, so setting, a, setting up a preset, very simple, very quick. Uh, to do it again, we'll go to set three. We're gonna set it up for one and a quarter. Red eye, one, enter, two, five, zero, enter, curve, zero, nine, nine, enter. So I can change presets pretty quick. Um, it, the computer does hold a memory. Um, so when I shut power off, I turn it back on and my presets are saved in there. And that is preset one through five. Preset six through nine are our cant settings and that is counting from the bottom up. So we'll go six, enter, red input um, or edit button. It's gonna ask us for our cant size. Um, let's say we want a seven inch cant, seven, Enter, bring our cursor over. We're gonna leave that at zeros. Board size, um, we're gonna go four quarter inch and an eighth for our board size. Curve, 
always 0 0.099 with this mill. All right, so we've got our preset six, cant seven inches, board at four quarter, which is inch and an eighth, and then our kerf at 99 thousandths. Um, and that's going to count from the bottom up. We'll crank it up and kind of run through those functions, show you a little bit more about it. Um, but that is going to be the same on six through nine as far as setup goes. Um, and we don't have those set up in here, um, but let's cant nine. Uh, board do inch and a half. Curve zero nine nine. Um, so those presets done very simple, very quickly. Our controls on it. Um, so you've got your start cut, zero, go to, and factor. Zero, I'm only going to use whenever the computer loses power, um, whether I do it at the ignition switch or do it on my <laughs> toggle switch here. Um, but I'm going to bring the head down to one inch, hit the zero button, and then I can saw the rest of the day as long as it does not use power. But anytime it loses power, I do have to resync it with uh, the motion of the head. I'm using that zero button, I press it once, and then I'm done with it. Go to is going to lock the head in. That's going to give me a starting point. So when I bring the blade up to make my first cut, I'm going to hit the go to button. Um, it gives me a, a starting point, and this is on preset one through five. And then start cut on the first push is going to raise the head up a three quarter to an inch, just high enough where I can get the, the board drug back to me. Um, press start cut again. It's going to bring the head down to my next preset. Um, that is on presets one through five. These same controls go to start cut. The, the movement of the computer is on the remote box, so I can walk around and operate. Um, we've got about a 15 foot lead on this box here, so I'm not stuck working from this one location uh, if I choose to move around. Preset six through nine. Go to is going to give me a starting point. When I press that button, that head will pick up. It's going to raise itself. Uh, generally about three inches um, and it's doing the math so in this case we got the inch and a half board nine inch cant so it will raise and I'm going to have set points where I'm going to cut inch and a half boards and my last cut will finish at nine inches. Uh, what that's going to do is that's going to give me any waste um, off the top of the log so I'm not cutting down to nine and a half or 10 inches uh, when I want an inch and a half board and I've got that thin waist cut right in the middle. So it takes all my waist off the top, uh, does the math for me on that. So we'll start the sawmill up, uh, did cut power to it. Get it running, get our blade going. And we do have to zero the head out. So we're gonna bring that head down and I'm gonna do it while it's at low throttle down to one inch. Now when I hit one inch, I do have chains that are gonna raise and lower the sawmill. And I can go down and I can start getting slack in those chains. If I zero with slack in the chains, that will show up and my last cut will not be accurate. So I wanna be at one inch on my scales. I wanna have my chains tight. And then we'll hit our zero button on the computer. And that's going to lock us in until we cut power to the computer again. Uh, so just to mop through, we'll bring it up to 10 inches on our scale. And we'll use one we haven't used. So we'll go to four, enter, and the red eye. Uh, we do have a one inch scale up here. That one inch scale does not include the curve. So I know where the height of my blade is. So we're gonna set our computer up the same way just to demonstrate how it works. So go to board size. Red eye is gonna give us the board size one inch. And I'm gonna leave the curve blank. Um, if I saw without that curve included, that's gonna give me just over a seven eighth thick board. So I do wanna make sure I add that to it. But for this scenario, following that scale, I do wanna leave that curve out. We'll throttle the mill up. We're at 10 inches on our scale. I'm gonna hit my go-to button. That's located here and here. Hit the go-to, 
and I've made my first cut. So I'll go down, I've made my cut, I'm gonna hit my start cut button, and that's gonna raise the head up. With the start cut button here, I'm gonna bring the board back to me with the reverse. I'm gonna hit start cut again, and that's gonna bring us down to nine inches on our scale. Make my cut there, start cut's gonna pick it up. I bring the board back to me, start cut's gonna drop it down, and I can just keep going, repeating that process, making even cuts all the way through. When I wanna change that, we'll go to preset three. I think we have that at inch and a quarter. Uh, I've already got it go to. We're gonna stay on the same sequence. Raise it, drop it down, so I can change my presets on the fly in the, the middle of, a, of the sequence on the rotation of the log. So when we go to our camp setting, we'll go six, enter. That's gonna bring us up for a seven inch camp with the four corner board. So I wanna bring my blade up where I wanna start in the log. Go to button, and that it will pick the head up. Start cut, we'll bring the head down to my, where I wanna make my first cut at. So I'll make my cut there, start cut, raise the head, bring the board back to me. Start cut, drop it down, make my next cut. We're gonna repeat that process. Start cut is gonna be the movement. We are cutting inch and an eighth board for the seven inch stamp. And that ends up at seven on our last cut. Um, I can't hit the start cut to raise it, but I can keep pushing this button all day long and it will not go down. We were at seven inches on that last cut. That's what it's set for. It has finished its sequence. It won't do anything else for it. Um, so we'll line it up. We got a little piece of wood on the mill now and we'll make a few cuts with it to kind of do it in practice. that blade up to where I want to let my first cut out and we're going to use our board settings. Um, we're on set one, we're going to go to edit, I'm going to go zero and we'll go to 50,000. Curve 99,000. That's going to be a pretty thin board. We're going to hit our go to button. Once we exit the cut, we'll turn our forward off. Let my fingers fall, forward off. Start cut, raises the head up. And we'll catch that board, drag it back to us. Once the head comes back, start cut's gonna drop it down, and we're only cutting 50 thousandths on it. We'll check our accuracy. We'll raise the head up a little bit, drag it on back. And we're going to change the preset on our computer. Can't imagine many of y'all are going to want to preset at 50,000. So we'll go to preset two, inch and a half board, start cut. And we're going to cut inch and a half from our last, uh, last cut there.
Exit my cut, let my fingers fall, turn my forward off. Start cut's gonna raise the head up. Burst to bring the board back to me. Start cut again. And that's gonna drop the head down to the next cut and that'll be an inch and a half. Uh, we're gonna swap, do a little something different here. So we're gonna go to preset six. And I've already got that one set up, so let's go to preset eight. This is one of our camp settings. Red eyes is gonna be our uh, edit button. Camp size. Let's go for three and a half inches. Three, enter, five, zero, zero. Board size, we'll go one inch. Curve, zero, nine, nine. We'll bring the blade up to the top of the log, roughly about where we make our first cut. I do not have to get that exact on the camp settings. Uh, one through five, wherever I start, will be my first cut. Six through nine, the computer's gonna tell me where to start. Hit the go-to button, that's gonna raise our head up. Start cut. That's where we're gonna make our first cut at. Exit our cut, turn our forward off. Uh, let's say we don't want to drag the board back. That's fine, we'll hit our up button. Pick the fingers up above the board, bring it back to us. Computer knows where our last cut was. We'll hit our start cut. That'll drop us down. Now we didn't have a whole lot of wood on here, so one board and then we're already at our three and a half mark. make our cut there and that will finish at our three and a half inch stand. Three and a half inch piece of wood left on the sawmill.